Four myths about hypnosis that are completely gonna change your mind about hypnosis and how it can help you and change your life 100%. Welcome back to another video. I am Maximilian. I help conscious preneurs reprogram their mind, empower their lives for confidence, success, abundance, fulfillment, you name it, I do it. Now, these four myths will help you. They will push you on your hypnosis experience, on your journey, in order to hypnotize yourself, to be hypnotized by myself, or maybe even someone else. Come see me. You want to be hypnotized? Come see me. I will help you achieve anything that you want to achieve. So, myth number one. Hypnosis is sleep. No, it's not. Hypnosis is not a form of sleep at all. People can fall asleep, and I have had people fall asleep during a hypnosis session. All you have to do, especially if it's online, you just have to wait for them to wake back up. But the suggestions allow them to wake back up. Now, hypnosis, where you see it on stage where they go, sleep. The suggestion is... When I say the word sleep, you will fall into a sleep-like state. It's suggestion-based. You will fall into a sleep-like state. Sleep. That is all it is. You can hear when you're hypnotized. You can think when you're hypnotized. Some people go deeper than others, and it's the 80-10-10 rule. 10% of people, very hard to hypnotise, but can still be hypnotised, we'll move on to that in a later myth. 80% of people are averagely able to be hypnotised. 10% of people are very, very suggestible. These are the ones that they call the floppers, <laughs> that, that will just, you will hypnotise them and they, they can generally just not even realise they're hypnotised. So, some people, a lot of the time, majority of people generally know what's going on during hypnosis. A lot of, some people really don't have a clue and they're just completely hypnotised like that. <laughs> they're, they're, they're the floppers. So, hypnosis isn't sleep. The idea of hypnosis is for you to understand the suggestions for your subconscious mind to reprogram, install, unwire the old, let's say you want to lose, lose weight, release your addictions to these sugary foods. Very simple, very easy. Let's say you have a block to abundance, unwire it by going to the root of the cause, digging it out, digging out, digging out, like if you dig out the root of a tree, it won't grow anymore. That block to abundance is a tree that needs to be dug out and get rid of. Once you've done that, you can then allow yourself to recreate yourself who you want to be when you attract this abundance into your life. So that is myth number one. Hypnosis is not sleep. Busted. <laughs> myth buster. So, myth number dos. I can't be hypnotized. Ha. Huh. That's a lie. Every single person can be hypnotized. You've already been hypnotized. You may not even think that you've been hypnotized. I've just done it in this video and no, I'm joking. Hypnosis occurs every single day of our life. Just, so the reason hypnosis works, you're going through the brain waves, beta, alpha, theta, hypnosis, delta, sleep, deep, deep, deep sleep. Gamma is very heightened awareness. If you can reach this, life's gonna be good. Essentially, you, once you get to that theta state, you're in hypnosis, you're in deep meditation. If you meditate, you do get to that state of hypnosis, depending on how often you meditate and how much you do it and how, um, how effective you are at meditating. But every night we drop from beta, which we're in right now, if you're watching this video, to alpha. Oh, actually, if you're watching this, you're most likely in alpha, if you're chilling, to theta, deep hypnosis, uh, d yeah, deep hypnosis or deep meditation, to delta, sleep. So you naturally do that going to sleep. So you have a window, and this is a little thing that I wanna give you a little bonus tip, gift. Just as you're going to bed, think about, visualize who you want to be. Visualize what you want to do and it starts to reprogram your mind. Yes. So anyone can be hypnotized. Myth busted number two. Myth number three. I will get stuck in hypnosis. It is not possible. It's not possible. Just like sleep, you wake up. You don't think you're gonna get uh, stuck in sleep, do you? Otherwise you wouldn't go to sleep. It has to be done. You will always wake up. You're so relaxed in hypnosis that you won't want to wake up. But when I speak to my clients online, I will always say to them, if you don't hear me for a good five, six, seven minutes maybe, because a lot of the time I, I let them do the work, I let them, I let them do what they need to do. If you can't hear me talking, you will start to come back around. The suggestion, 
they remember it. They may not even know that they remember it, but they just know to bring themselves back around. If the connection cuts out or something silly like that, then I've got another means of connection and we can go back with the session. But it doesn't actually affect you. Even if the session does cut out, you could just go straight back into hypnosis. It's very simple. Very simple. Once you've done one induction to get someone into hypnosis, it's really easy to get them back into hypnosis. So when I work with people constantly, or they go for a program, the first day, it can be so effective, depending on the person. Third, fourth, fifth day, it's going to be so easy for them to drop to these deep states because they're used to it. It's familiar. Make it familiar. And myth busted of number three. Number four. You, the hypnotist, will control me, the hypnotized. This is not true. I cannot tell you to do something against your will. I cannot say to you, give me your pin code for your phone. I can't do that. Because your analytical mind, the reason hypnosis works is we are breaking away from the analytical mind, the critical thinking mind. Once you break away from that, you start to understand deeper down. You start to understand these, these things that went on when you were a child that you may, may not even know at a conscious level, conscious, subconscious. We're in the subconscious when you're in hypnosis. If I say something that is very against, like completely against you, your conscious mind will kick back into gear and go, whoa, wait, wait a second, wait a second. No, I'm not giving you my pin code. I'm not going to do that. I only have enough control to be able to get you to do what you want to do. You want to be confident, I can help you with that. You want to stop smoking, I can help you with that. You want to release all of your traumas, I can help you with that very easily. And I love releasing traumas. Always ends up in someone crying. <laughs> not saying I like to see people cry, but I love to see people release. They just look so much lighter. So that is four muffs. Myth, muffs. Four myths busted. <laughs> Four muffs busted. Four myths busted about hypnosis. Now, when do you want to book a session? Because hypnosis isn't scary. Hypnosis is not scary. It's just relaxation. It's just deep meditation. But when you're being hypnotized by someone who is a hypnotist, you're under they're understanding what to do to be able to direct you in the right way. Also, when I do it with a, with, with a hypnotist versus online, um, like watching a video, the reason it's, it's more effective is because I know you when I speak to you. I could speak your language. If I started speaking in French, it'd be very hard to hypnotize you because you wouldn't understand the words if you don't speak French, obviously. But if I'm speaking in your language, the way that you represent the world, again, I'll explain how you represent the world in another video. But if I explain it in that way, it will make sense to you and you'll be able to go deeper into hypnosis, be able to make these changes, these shifts easily, simply every single day of your life. Your life gets better. You become better. You become more effective in everyday life. So I hope you've learned something in this video. If you like this video, please like this video. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow a community. I'm trying to help as many people as possible. I'm trying to serve the world to bring happiness and fulfillment, to create a movement of happy and fulfilled people. And I'm going to do that. I promise you this video. I promise you. I say this in all these videos now. I promise you I'm going to do that. So I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you keep spreading kindness. And I hope you keep spreading positivity. Because I'm going to do it as well.